Hey everyone, thank you for watching. Today's video I am so excited to do. I am back with another palette ranking video and this week I am going to be ranking all of the palettes that I have tried from Sigma Beauty. Oh yes, I am very excited about this and I'm also super excited that this video is in collaboration with my good friend Kelly Gooch. If you are not familiar yet with Kelly's channel, you definitely should be. She has been a favorite of mine for so many years and we have been friends now for many years. We've been able to meet in person, which has been so much fun. We did a meetup one time together in New York City, which is now where Kelly lives, which is amazing. It, it is so much fun for me to watch Kelly's journey. We are two Midwest girls. I'm from Iowa, she is from Michigan, that decided to change our lives and to move to our dream cities. I am now living in Las Vegas, Kelly is living in New York City, and sometimes when I watch her post, either her vlogs or something on her Instagram, like the other day she was saying, I remember you know, one of the first times that I visited New York City and I was sitting at this cafe and this red table and I thought, wouldn't it be amazing to live here here one day <laughs> I'm gonna like cry for Kelly and now I want to cry because I'm really living here and I just felt so proud of my friend when I read those kinds of things or I see her vlogs and I see how happy she is there it's just it's so incredible and Kelly is just thriving I love watching her videos so much she especially really loves drugstore makeup which I think is fantastic I'm personally a little bit more into high-end but I love getting Kelly's drugstore recommendations I saw that she also recently is now a part of the Ulta Beauty Collective which is such a huge huge deal when I saw Kelly post that I just got so excited for her because it's like oh it's just like she's she's doing it <laughs> I, just, I just get so happy for people when I see them just freaking doing it and Kelly's doing it Kelly also loves Sigma Beauty so when I was thinking about doing this ranking video I thought I have to ask Kelly if she wants to collab with me on this one and she said yes so I will link Kelly's video down below I'm very curious to see how her ranking is gonna go and if ours are similar at all I'm really I'm not too sure how our videos are going to be but i can't wait to watch kelly's so kelly thank you so much for clapping with me i'm so so proud of you my friend and if you want to see how i rank all of the sigma palettes that i've tried let's go ahead and get started all right welcome well if you are new to my channel i always start off my videos with an outfit of the day it started after i moved to las vegas and i finally felt you know i could get back to my style and what i want to wear without feeling like judgment or strange or just anything like that like no one really cares in vegas what you wear I started doing an outfit of the day and it just kind of kept going and if ever i forget especially if i'm doing like a get ready with me and i'm just like in my pajamas still people are like no wait we wanted to see your pajamas too so let me show you my outfit of the day we're pretty casual today just have on some distressed jeans and then this top which i feel like describes an empath very well my social battery it goes from uh two people three people four people and then by the the time we get to six people I have no battery left and I feel like that describes me really well I definitely need to like recharge my social batteries often so I just thought when I saw this top online I was like that's definitely one for me I do also always link all of my makeup in the description box anything that I'm wearing I always put down there but I did do some filming on this eye look here with the new ColourPop Darth Vader palette that will be going up on my Instagram. I post a lot of demos over there, so if you're ever curious to see how makeup applies, and I am March Beauty Word over on Instagram. And again, if you are coming from Kelly's channel or if you're just new to my channel in general, thank you so much for watching. I love to chat about new makeup. I do the new makeup releases every single week uh, that I started on my channel about five years ago now, I think it was. Uh, so I love to chat about new makeup, try new makeup. I do a lot of get ready with me videos, and then just chat about all things beauty. I especially love ranking videos I find this is so fun to do and uh, yeah if you're not subscribed yet over here I hope that you will I post about four to five videos a week on YouTube but jumping into it it was definitely so hard for me to rank the Sigma Beauty palettes <laughs> I saw some requests coming in for Anastasia, Sigma, and also Urban Decay. So I did a poll on my YouTube community tab and I was just gonna rank in order that it came through. So my Anastasia ranking video is already up. Sigma now, Urban Decay will be coming next. It was really hard for me because I enjoy Sigma palettes 
so much there are not a lot of misses for me when sigma releases an eyeshadow palette uh, i am also an affiliate with sigma so i did want to say that if there's anything that you would be interested in from the sigma beauty website my code samantha will give you a discount on your orders and all of my links in my description box for sigma are going to be affiliate links so if you do shop through them i thank you so much because that just helps us support me and my channel and i am really grateful for that like i was saying sigma beauty they just really don't miss for eyeshadow palettes with me a lot so i had to sit and really look at my list once I pulled all the palettes out and if there's any palettes that I know learned had in my collection I was like how in the world am I gonna rank these so I'm gonna be ranking from 10 to 1 starting in at number 10 I put in the Magnifique palette these are all palettes that I like. I actually just finished filming my ranking video for the month of February, ranking all of the makeup, skincare, hair products that I tried. And once again in that video, I'm like, I like all of these products. It's like you have to start somewhere. Where do you start? So I just want to say that. So this came out in their holiday 2021 collection. And I think that it is a really beautiful palette. You have some purples in here and some golds in here. This one is a six pan palette. I'm not sure if this is available anymore since it was a part of the holiday collection, so it might not be on the website. Now, I actually did declutter this in my eyeshadow palette declutter. I did a huge declutter at the end of December, uh, especially a part of my move was really downsizing, going from a five-bedroom house to a two-bedroom apartment, having to like cram my whole life you know i'm almost 35 having to cram everything in here like i'm someone who still has like my photo albums and like my box of like my graduation cap from high school like all of that stuff had to come out to vegas with me uh so i was really trying to downsize especially my makeup collection so this is one that i did choose to declutter because the palettes that you're going to see um coming up in this video like those are ones that i just repeatedly go back to i love so much if you follow my channel for a while i've talked these palettes to death. You've heard about them a ton. And this one here, I thought the quality was good, but it to me, it's not like the like 14 pen palettes from Sigma and the ones that I use so much. I like the purples and golds, and especially for holiday, I thought it was just like a little bit different versus what we usually see or the typical either like the silvers or the red and the green, that sort of thing. I really liked the purples and golds in here, but this is just a palette that someone else will be able to get so much more use out of in my you know gigantic makeup collection. It's not one that I had to have. I felt like the mattes were just a little bit like not quite as soft and buildable, which I really love about the Sigma formula because I'm not someone who's a master blender, so I like something that's a little bit more buildable. And the shimmers were really beautiful. I just felt they were a little bit more firmly packed than the other ones in the larger Sigma palettes. So still, it's a good one. It's a nice one. If you have it, I'm sure that you probably enjoy it. Just not like my tippy top fave from the brand. Two more palettes that I don't have in my collection anymore, so I will pop some photos up on the screen. But one is the Essentials palette, and this was a collab collaboration with Stephanie Lang. So I liked this palette because it has the eyeshadows and it had the face products in there too. But again, it was one of those that I kind of felt like it was similar to the Magnifique palette where the shadows just didn't seem the same as what uh, I've come to expect in those 14 pan palettes. They were still good and I liked the addition of the face palettes and I liked that it was a little bit smaller. I wasn't super familiar with the collaborator but it's always exciting to see these types of collaborations. I've been able to have my own with Sigma Beauty which I was going to touch on a little bit at the end too which you know is obviously like so exciting to me um but this one it just it wasn't one that kind of like stuck out to me so it wasn't in my last declutter but probably like the eyeshadow palette declutter before then that I decided to declutter that because I thought it was a really nice palette for someone who's probably doesn't have as much makeup as me because it really can be their essential palette you know someone who's not constantly getting new things constantly trying to review the new things that would make a good palette for them i ended up passing it to a friend because i knew that she'd be able to get some more use out of both the eyeshadows and the face shades oh actually so it was going to be the next three i no longer have in my collection so at number eight i have the enchanted palette this was one that i didn't think i decluttered and i really because kelly and i've been planning this video for several weeks now and I have been like looking ever I'm like did I really declutter the enchanted palette I feel like it's just hiding somewhere and I can't find it but I really like I looked in all of the places but I know that this one it just didn't have 
the color scheme that I tend to go back to, go back to, go back to, like the, the palettes that you're gonna see at the top here, like those are my colors, those are what I wear so much. I am more of a neutral fan. I do have liner and lashes on today, but I typically don't even wear that. Like I'm very uh, neutral shadow lover. I like doing like one to two eyeshadow looks, like boom, boom, quick and easy, I'm out the door. And while the Enchanted was a really beautiful palette, I'm thinking probably the time that I decluttered it, I was really trying to downsize my collections even at that time because it wasn't my last declutter um but even the one before that trying to downsize my collection knowing that a move was potentially on the horizon for me and really trying to keep the palettes that i knew i would use the most of but the enchanted is the 14 pan palette they come with a double ended sigma brush which i think is just adds to the value of the palette so much because it's like the good quality Sigma brushes that you get in those 14 pan palettes. The Enchanted is beautiful. I just, I no longer have it in my collection. And then at number seven, it was a number, another collab palette. And this was the collab with Beauty Bird. And this was the Dream palette. So this was a larger palette, had the eyeshadows in there. And then it did also have two highlighters and also had the brush. I thought that this was a really fun palette because it was neutral, it was also colorful. You had the highlights in there which you could use as a highlight on your face or you could use them as eyeshadows. I liked that it had the brush. Uh, Beauty Bird has teamed up with uh, Sigma Beauty quite a bit and I really like some of the products, especially the brushes. I use the Dream uh, brushes quite a bit, both the face and eye brushes. And then when this palette came out, which was uh, a few years ago, I remember really enjoying it, getting some fun looks from it. But since it is a bit of a larger palette, that's not typically what I tend to go for. I actually like, you know, the smaller palettes are, the 14 pants from Sigma are just some of my favorites hands down, like just favorite palettes in my collection in general. Uh, so that one just being a little bit larger in size too and having more of those shades, I decided to declutter it, you know, about two years ago also, but that was a fun one and I was very excited to see that for Beauty Bird. It was a nice palette. Now jumping back into the palettes that I still do own. So at number six, I have the Cinderella palette. This one is a fairly new uh, from Sigma and their Disney uh, collaboration. So I decided to put this at number six. Again, now we're just kind of getting into the color scheme, what I kind of use the most. This was one when it first came out, I was like, I don't know if I'm going to be able to figure out what to do with this, but I actually spoke very highly of it when I reviewed it. And I kind of liked it to break it down in quads. Again, these like purple and the gold over here, really beautiful. Then you have some more of like these neutral tones, like you could do this neutral here with um, even, even have the black for like liner, this neutral section right here. You have some fun colors here. Once I started to look at it that way, because I don't always have the most visual mind, so sometimes it's a little bit hard for me. Once I broke it into those quads, it actually became easier. But these shades i've used every single one from this palette and they are gorgeous like the golds the purples like the shimmers from sigma are so so beautiful just like some of the best and the mattes again if you like that buildable type of formula you are really going to going to enjoy these 14 pans from sigma they are just so so nice so again well, it's not going to be like my most reached for Sigma palette, it's still a beautiful one. Next up at number five in the middle of the pack here, we have the Untamed palette. Again, this is such a fun one. This is to me, especially a really fun fall palette because you kind of have some of these darker, grungier tones in here, but then you still have some neutrals. You still have some lighter shades, even some uh, lighter shimmers in here. I know my friend Jen from uh, Jen Loves, her YouTube channel, she loves the Untamed palette and I totally like totally get that for her again i can still create my fun looks with this one like the camouflage shade and then this envy the green those are some of the two that i go into the, into the most when i'm using the untamed palette mm. it's a fun when they came out with this i was like okay sigma okay all right coming in at number four we have the warm and neutrals palette now this is a beautiful palette what i thought was really fun about this one too uh, is when so Sigma Beauty was the first brand like big brand to put me on their PR list they were their the first brand to give me an affiliate code which was so exciting and in one of their PR packages that they sent out after I became an affiliate they had just launched this warm neutrals eyeshadow palette and it was a smaller nine pen palette and I really hadn't tried a lot of Sigma makeup to that point I was obsessed with the Sigma brushes I found Sigma Beauty through YouTube especially like Carly Bible and so I had been buying Sigma brushes for such a long time, but I was excited to try out their makeup and I was like, wait a second, this eyeshadow palette is so great. Even back then, 
I thought their eyeshadow palettes were fantastic quality. And then they started to come out with these 14 pan palettes a few years ago, which then replaced, like this replaced the nine pan warm neutrals. And I was so excited when I saw these expanded versions because these, like I'm just telling you, if you haven't tried the Sigma palettes yet, I just really want you to because I think that they are fantastic. So the warm neutrals is exactly what it's described as. I love that it still had the sparkly green, which the smaller palette did too. Then you have your mixture of the matte and shimmers. You can do the brown smoky eye with, with this one. You can add in some of these beautiful reds and like terracottas in here, which I also thought was super pretty with the smaller palette. But the warm neutrals, it just brings me, just brings me so many good memories. At number three and a smaller palette from Sigma, this is the rosy eyeshadow palette. So this is the the nine pan so Sigma recently released uh, their on-the-go eyeshadow palettes and they have a lot of different varieties so if a 14 pan palette maybe that one is too big for you then you can also do these nine pans in here these don't come with the brushes or the mirror like the 14s uh, like the 14 pan palettes do but these are also excellent excellent quality I think that these are the same quality that you are getting in the 14 pan palettes so if a color story and a smaller color story works better for you then these are a really good option i love the rosy because it's like a smaller version of my favorite palette which you will be seeing very very soon and this is actually the one that i decided to put in my sigma favorites bundle i was able to do a sigma favorites bundle in 2021 and i was so excited about this because like i said they were the first brand to send me a pr the first brand to give me the discount code i've been able to do some sponsorships with sigma beauty over the years which has just been so exciting and they are such a nice brand like i don't like i'm i feel very lucky that i feel like i've been able to work closely with good brands in this industry and have so many positive experiences and even the other day i run a brand called by samantha march and i have some different stationary products in there um i have a deck of cards like the deck of healthy habits i have a 90 day planner i have some other stationary products and digital products and the other day i got a notification from shopify and i looked at the name and i thought that name seems really familiar to me. It was the CEO of Sigma purchased my deck of healthy habits and then emailed me. And you know, it was like, I've just, you know, been watching you and you've been so supportive of Sigma. And I was so excited when I saw these and I've been telling my friends all about them. And I just thought, the CEO of Sigma is on buysmithmarsh.com. Like, I mean, they're just such a good brand. Like I can't speak highly enough about Sigma Beauty. So to be able to come out with this bundle, really meant so much to me uh it has been restocked so it's available once again on the sigma beauty website you do get the rosy eyeshadow palette and then also three eye brushes three of my favorite eye brushes that are available on sigma and i'm really really proud of this and i'm so happy that i was able to team up with sigma for it all right at number two we have the ambiance palette oh yes i love this palette this is these are my vibes. This is a palette of beautiful neutrals. All the browns in here just make me so happy. The golds, the shimmers. I mean, this palette is just a stunner, especially for spring, summer. And this palette also gives me such good memories because when I moved to Las Vegas, this was one of the like first PR packages once I moved here that arrived and one of the first palettes that I really started playing with. So whenever I think of this palette, I think of just arriving here, an absolute Bambi, just so unsure and nervous and what did I just do my whole life is changing and it's been you know such it's almost been one year since I've been here it'll be one year in April which is wild to think about and just so many good memories and this palette is one that brings those back because I wore it so much my first few weeks here as I was unpacking makeup and all of that and I just love the ambiance it's gorgeous if, if these are your vibes like these are your tones and you like that kind of light and neutral makeup the ambiance is definitely going to be a good one for you but if you know me you probably knew what my number one was going to be and that is the Corda Rosa this palette just stole my heart from the moment it came out i am pretty light-handed when it comes to my eyeshadow but this is one of those palettes that you can tell i have loved on i love the pinky tones so much in here the neutrals some of these just this is my favorite sigma palette but it's also just one of my favorite palettes in my collection i use it so much i continue to go back to it it's just one of those makeup staples for me that i just know i'm gonna get a pretty look i'm gonna feel feel beautiful when i wear this palette that's why when the rosie came out the rosie is like a smaller version of the corda rosa and i just this is my number one it comes with the double-ended brush 
I love it. I love the Corda Rosa. It obviously had to be my number one. So after that, that is ranking all of my Sigma Beauty palettes. I really hope that you enjoyed this one and hearing a little bit more about my Sigma collection. Again, I will have all of these linked down below as well as my affiliate code of Samantha. Please make sure to go check out Kelly's video. Also, let her know that I sent you. I'm so excited to watch hers. And again, Kelly, thank you so much for collaborating with me. If there's any other ranking videos you want to see or brand videos you want to see, please do let me know in the comments. And as always, if you enjoyed this one, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. I hope you also consider subscribing before you go, and I'll see you in my next video.